Hey, Aunt Viv! Hi. How are you doing? Hi! <laughs> oh, doing? my goodness, let me look at you. Turn around. Honey, the last time we saw you, you were this funny little boy. Now look at you. Oh, my goodness, you are a man. Well, that was the plan. <laughs> <laughs> It is amazing. You certainly have grown, Will. Well, we all have. <laughs> Will, I want the best for Ashley. When I was a kid, I loved classical music, but my parents couldn't afford lessons. I used to stand out in the parking lot of the Philharmonic, hoping to catch a spare note on the night air. Philip, when I met you, you were into James Brown. <laughs> he liked James Brown? He wore his hair like him. Yes, yes, this is my favorite part. Ashley, honey, this is possibly the most beautiful music ever written. Would someone turn it up for me, please? Jazz, crank it up for me. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, listen. Listen, darling. Listen to the violins. Beautiful. Oh. The oboes will be coming next. <laughs> All of this is my Uncle Phil. This is dope, man. I'm just gonna kick back here for a few days, let somebody else do all the work. Uh, excuse me, young man. In this house, everyone carries his own weight. <laughs> Too easy. <laughs> man, I'm starving. When do we eat here? We eat here later. You eat here never. <laughs> it's like you eat here often. Good news, people. The girl. Obviously, your wife is upset. It's common with women in midlife. I'd be happy to prescribe something. <laughs> Dr. Hoover, the school where you got your degree, did you find it on the back of a matchbook? <laughs> P please, my humble brothers, please. Penn yes. State, my brother. Really? Good school. I was thinking of going there if my scholarship to Princeton, Yale, Wharton, and Talladega Tech had fallen through. <laughs> Impressive. You must have been quite an athlete in your thinner days. Okay, time out. Okay, time hey, out. Hey, let's stick to the topic, okay? Fine. Speaking as a doctor, I think your daughter ought to be heavily sedated and immediately institutionalized. Well, speaking as a lawyer, I can only say that your daughter suits the criminal profile to a T. Right down to the low sloping forehead and the wide jaw suitable for grains and small rodents. I think you must have a confused with your mama. Would you like to order before I bring you back the menus? I'll have a nice tea, please. Perrier with a twist of lemon. I don't know. I just can't seem to decide. Well, sir, we've got all three flavors of Slim Fast. <laughs> Come on, Will. We better get going. I want to get there early so I can get my pick of the pencils. <laughs> before you go, son, I have a uh, little surprise for you. my old Princeton sweatshirt. I was going to save it until you went off to college, but I thought you might like to have it today. Dad, I don't know what to say. This means so much to me. I wear it for good luck. <laughs> <laughs> or you could throw it up in the air and cover that big hole in the ozone. Honey, I'll be back in a minute. I'm going to go get a snack. I mean, quick jazz. Hi, man. Oh, man, I thought you said your uncle was asleep. Uh, he was. He must have had that reoccurring nightmare where he misses a meal. <laughs> Son, what are you doing still up? It's a school night. Uh, uh, what, uh homework, Uncle Phil. Uh, I'm watching a uh, television program on farm practices in the Midwest. <laughs> oh, look, Arnold the Pig is wearing Eddie Albert's pajamas. <laughs> oh, yeah, I've seen that one. <laughs> Turn it off. Go to bed. <laughs> 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 
What does that smell? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Uncle Phil. I thought I was alone. <laughs> no, no, I don't mean that. <laughs> Smells like cheap cologne and fried chicken. I resent that. <laughs> Oops. Dad, you know how everyone's saying you're old? <laughs> well, I've got something that's gonna make you look years younger. Philip Banks, this is your hair. Carlton, I am not wearing a toupee. That's the problem. Now work with me on this. Your client's gonna be at that party Saturday night. You've got to show him a hipper, hairier Philip Banks. <laughs> Say, is that Philip Banks or Blair Underwood? <laughs> what do you think of this one, Dad? I look like Little Richard, attorney at law. Dinner is served. A wab ba baluba balop bamboo. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Everybody out. Come on. We never got the clasp fixed on mom's bracelet. <laughs> you never got the... <laughs> and you did all... <laughs> 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 I don't know what to say. We <laughs> can't <laughs> Do. <laughs> I, I don't know. Reward us for our honesty? Hey, <laughs> <laughs> it worked for the beef. <laughs> do I look like a white guy named Ward? Now you get that bracelet back, and for the next six weeks, I don't want to hear you breathe. Or I'm calling the feds myself. I guess this probably ain't the best time to tell them we ran over the mailbox. Philip, so, Will's been gone for seven hours now. What if something's happened to him? Don't try to cheer me up, Vivian. <laughs> Philip, I'm serious. Do something. What do you want me to do? I've got Jeffrey out scouring the city. I'm terribly sorry, sir. I've looked everywhere. There isn't an ice cream sandwich left in this town. <laughs> Vivian. Ashley, what are you doing out of bed? I'm worried about Will. Why did you throw him out into the street, Daddy? I did not throw him into the street. Quite right, sir. You threw him on the lawn. He rolled into the street. <laughs> Daddy, we couldn't find Will anywhere. I'm sorry, no ice cream sandwiches. Shh. <laughs> Uncle Phil, I I'm saying, what's the difference between me wearing this and you in the 60s? You wore a dashiki and an afro. But I was making a cultural statement. You're just drawing attention to yourself. Look, now correct me if I'm wrong, but you don't think a six foot three, 250 pound black dude in a dashiki and an afro the size of West Philly is drawing attention to himself? 